Hey guys, Targo Cyclone FPV is about one o'clock in the morning, almost one in the morning uh, right now on September 29th, right? And uh, I had a customer that has the uh, Radio Master TX16S and he's got a Crossfire uh, TX and he's got the Nano RX, right? And he's having a confusion on how to set it up on his HGLRC quad. So I told him I'd do this video for him real quickly. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got everything already loaded, which means that if you haven't done your firmware updates and your open TX updates, this is not the video for you. This is strictly if you've already done everything, including your TBS updates using the TBS agent. If you need help with that, let me know and I'll put the whole video together for you. But for right now, I just want to get this done for the customer so he knew what he was going to do, okay? So I'm using a brand new HDRC uh, F4 board and I've already got my uh, op uh, my uh, Nano RX already wired, ready, and it's in binding mode now. So it's blinking green waiting to find the radio. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the radio on. Okay. Welcome to Open TX. Oh, going to throttle warning? Throttle warning. Yeah, because I didn't calibrate properly. All right. So I've got a model here and I've named it Crossfire. And I already had these linked up prior to make sure everything tested out fine. Now that it does, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my system button down right here. And I'm gonna to go to option one, Crossfire configure. I'm gonna hit that. And I'm gonna configure, I'm gonna to go to the XF Micro TX, right? So I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna to go to this binding option right here. See that? So I'm gonna, right there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select binding. Hopefully you guys can see that, okay? I'm gonna click that. And it's gonna start binding to the receiver right here. Okay, and it says binding okay, and it's done, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I can, I mean, for whatever I need to do, I can go ahead and just leave it like this, and then I can hit return to get out, and next thing you know what you're gonna see is you're gonna see the Nano RX appear right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the Nano RX, and I'm gonna wait for it to populate. It's gonna take just a minute to populate all the fields. I'll give it a second. I can't remember if I have to restart it all or not. I, I may go ahead and just do that anyway. So uh, let me go ahead and restart it because it shouldn't be taking that long. So let me turn this off. Receiver still connected. Oh, yeah, quit yapping. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, sorry. Okay. So let me just connect the power. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn the radio on. Welcome to OpenTF. Turn the throttle warning. There we go. All right, let's get out. All right, so now we're going to go back, hold the system button down, crossfire configure. There's an NORX, click it, and it should now populate. It's going to take you a second, but I think you do have to restart it. Let me go ahead and wait for that to happen here. Oops, sorry. I did find this to be a little bit of a problem. There it is. I think it was just me being impatient, but we're going to wait and see. Come on. Come on. Slowly it comes. Now I just click the enter key and it happens to become popping right up, okay? All right, so I don't know why it's moving so slow. That kind of sucks, but in either case, uh, these are the settings that I want you to see. So yours is most likely gonna come eight channel. Go ahead and pop it to 12. Uh, leave everything else like it looks here, and then you're gonna see your outputs. It's gonna, it's gonna keep populating this, and I don't know, uh, I need it to hurry up here. So let me move this out of the way a little bit. And let's see what we got. Okay, that looks good. Um, yeah, there it goes. It's good. It's still got more to populate, so I'm gonna give it just a little bit. There it goes. I'm trying not to fall asleep while this is happening. And here comes our channel mappings. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna have to sit here through all this. This is fine. So let me just go ahead and hit return. All right, now let's go ahead and put up our beta flight. There we go. And we're gonna sign in connect okay and then we're going to go to our ports and this one i have as port one and i believe on my configuration i already have the crossfire selected which i do so on my receivers tab uh, what i want to do as you can see now is we're connected okay um, and then if we want to do anything like add switches then we're going to go to hold our model button down hit page and then we can scroll down to like here or number five, let's do number five, because that's where I was playing with earlier. So we can edit. I'm gonna make this my arm switch. So there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put my input name is arm. Okay. Return, line name, I'll do the same thing. A R and then M. Okay, so it's return. And uh, let's return out of that. And the next one we're going to make is our mode switch. Oh my goodness. 
too tired for this. Oh, ABCD, ABCD. There we go. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Get back there. Edit. Right, let's do it again. M. Okay, now our source remote, I'm going to go to this side and use the SD three way switch. Okay, so we return. And then I will do a fail safe. So let me do here. I'm just going to call this fail. Okay, let's go down here. Excellent, okay, we'll return. And now let's figure out what switch we want. So for me, I'm gonna use the one right over here, the three-way switch SP, okay, and so that's good. So hit return, return, excellent. So we've got our, our, our pages there, everything set up. Let's go to page again, and we're gonna do our, just do our mixes here. So arm is gonna be called arm. There we go. So now if we look in beta flight, we're gonna see. See how we've got all our switches? As we do them, they start dropping in value there. Now I need to calibrate mine. This is, I did a really poor job on this. So I'm gonna go back and calibrate this. So let me just return out of my menu and I'm gonna to go to my system here and I'm gonna go, whoops, I'm gonna go page, 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 and then here, calibration. So let's do it. And it's gonna, I know it's gonna prompt me to center them. So let me make sure everything's centered, okay. Throttle is centered, so I'm going to click enter. And it says center the sticks. Okay, and then I'm going to move them. Okay, so now I'm just going to go kind of gentle all the way around on this thing because if you if you smash on it too much, it's not going to give you a, an actual like when you're flying. So just kind of just try to keep it normal. Uh, I want to make sure that this works properly. There we go. And then I'm going to press enter. Okay. And now let's go back. Perfect. So now if you look at our screen on Betaflight, look at that. So everything is perfect now. Okay. We've got everything pretty much set. I haven't set my mins or max. I haven't done any of that. We've got all these extra switches we haven't used. Uh, but you're good to go. So at this point, you do see that it's interacting and that it is working uh, with, uh, with uh, Betaflight and with our receiver. So that is how you configure your crossfire. Okay. There you go. And that is how you do it. So let me go ahead and turn this off. Oh, I'll power this down. Turn this off. I'll plug this. Power this down. Still and hit enter. Yep. And there you go. All right, guys. Pretty quick uh, thing there under 10 minutes, which is a, pretty much a record for me. I got carbon fiber in my finger. Um, so, it's, uh, so you're good to go. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. If you have any questions, please, as always, go to our uh, Facebook group right there and help you as best as I can. Uh, so also the other guys that are on there. And then always please follow us on Facebook. And then it's please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am trying to get this channel to keep growing. Uh, it is growing, I'm very proud of it, uh, but your support will always help. So if you let other people know, I don't ask for anything, okay, I do these videos upon request. So if you ask for one, I'm, I'll do it for you. It's, it's that simple, there's no charges, no nothing. All I ask is you help me build it up. And one of the things is my kids love looking at it uh, and seeing if we're growing. So just for that reason alone, if you wouldn't mind. Um, also watch out for our new drones, our Fight for Dad series drones. So that's a website that I created. And the drones from here are, um, are pretty much designed to be plug and play. Uh, and a portion of the sales goes to the Fight for Dads um, Fund to help uh, other guys, other dads that are going through divorces or custody battles or whatever, you know, try to put some, some money together if they need some support. Um, and uh, these are the kind of drones, like this one right here that I was working on. So these are the new Cinewhoops. Uh, the the Cine ones that we designed, they, we designed the outside shell of it. Um, and it's in all cool colors, like there's blue and there's green and all that. And it's fun for the kids. It's a full-fledged, you know, uh, 
uh, frame them. I mean, like it's it'll it'll run your DJI or whatever you want to run on it. But I made it kind of colorful to make the kids interested. Get you do some father son or or mother son or whatever it is, father daughter, mother daughter, whatever you want to do. Point being is time with the parents and the kids, right? Just sit down and build something with them and you know stimulate their mind and, and just bond together. I, I I don't have my kids with me right now, and, and I hate that, and I wish I did because I would be bonding with them right now uh, while they'd be sleeping right now, but you get my point. All right, guys, uh, I'll quit rambling. Um, okay, let me get those. I forgot they was on the screen. I'll talk to you later, guys. Uh, God bless. Be safe. Please spend time with your family. You don't have much time you have left, so make the most of it, okay? You can always fly later. Talk to you later, guys. Peace.